so welcome back. I am making the banana pudding right now. Super simple recipe. It's so easy. It's so delicious. You guys are going to really love this. Um, make sure you watch till the end of this video though, because if you are in San Antonio and you watch my live, then you were entered to win the key lime pie. If you want it, of course. If not, I'm sure somebody else will. Um, but watch till the end and I'll announce who won. Good luck. All right, so we're gonna start with our pudding. So it does need to be this large size. And you're just going to pour this into your bowl. Pour it into your bowl. Get down, get down, freaking cat. She knows better too. She's like, oh, you're recording? I'm gonna jump in your video. Get down. No, ma'am. Zip it. I recorded in the morning so that the kids wouldn't be loud because they're still sleeping and this cat is being loud. It's like, ma'am, zip it. Be quiet. Okay, and now we're gonna, <laughs> I can't believe that cat sometimes. And we're gonna do two cups of milk. You can use 2%, you can use whole milk. I'm using 2% or whatever milk you drink. So you should look like this. And then I'm going, and I'm sorry if I'm a little bit cut off. I mean, my goal is to show you the recipe though, not really my sale. And then I'm gonna just whisk that together and then we will um, add the Cool Whip and the condensed milk and the vanilla. All right, so you should be whisking it until it gets about a medium consistency because remember, it's gonna thicken up in the um, refrigerator once you, um, I don't know what's wrong with me, once you cool it, um, put it in the fridge. So then you're gonna put in a whole can of condensed milk. So if you're on a diet, this recipe's not for you. Just go ahead and get out of the video because it's not for you. whole can and so I was mentioning this in my Instagram story but I had such sprinkles be quiet I had such a hard time finding condensed milk yesterday so I went to H-E-B first and um, they didn't have it and so then I went to um, Dollar Tree, no, Dollar General, because I wanted to stop there for the vanilla wafers because H-E-B also did not have that. So I went to go stop for the vanilla wafers there because I know I had seen them in an ad one time there and they did have them there, but they didn't have condensed milk, which is Dollar General, you know, they don't have everything. Um, so you're just gonna stir that in until it looks like that consistency and that color. But um, they didn't have it there at Dollar General, which I didn't expect them to because they you know, don't have everything there. Um, so I ended up having to go to Walmart, which I was trying to avoid, and they only had the Walmart brand. So hopefully that tastes the same. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, okay, so then we're gonna add a dash of vanilla. So I would say half a teaspoon of some vanilla extract. That should be good. And then you're gonna stir that in. And then we're gonna take our Cool Whip and I would suggest um, getting the big Cool Whip, even if you don't use all of it for this recipe, because if you get the smaller one, oh, you didn't even need scissors. It had a place you could open it, my bad. Even if you get the smaller one, um, I mean, the smaller one will probably work, but usually I have a hard time with the topping. I like my topping on top to be super fluffy. So even though you only use like a small portion for the inside of it, like the mix, I use a pretty big, generous portion on top. So I would just suggest getting the bigger one just so you have enough. So I would say this is about a cup and a half of Cool Whip that you're gonna add in right now. 
and you do want to let your cool whip sit out for maybe five minutes prior to making this recipe so that way you can easily stir that together it's already really thick because of the condensed milk and because of the pudding itself because the pudding remember i didn't add what the box calls for i added two cups instead of three so that makes the consistency different but you want this to be like a really thick creamy dessert so you want it like that so we want it to look like this i hope you can kind of see what it's like there and we're just gonna set that aside and we're going to start our bananas and our wafers okay so you're gonna take your bananas and the recipe calls for five bananas so my kids can eat that or i'll use it for one of my smoothies so I'm gonna cut my bananas first, just to make this easier. And I'll show you how I cut them here into the slices. You're just going to want to do, not too thin, but not too thick. So about that size and that um, length, thickness, whatever you wanna call it. Having a hard time with, with tacky today, because I'm made in. Um, so I'm going to cut my bananas and then as soon as I cut the bananas, we'll open up those wafers and I'll show you how we're going to pile this together. It's so easy guys. All right. So as you can see, I cut up all my bananas. Now we're going to open our vanilla wafers. And I know you can't see my face, but you don't need to see my face. We're focusing on the food. All right, so here is where my biggest tip comes from so that you don't have soggy cookies. So I'm gonna take a reusable glass container and we are going to take our bananas first, not our cookies. And we're just going to start placing this. All right, so that's a pretty good first layer there. Get back, back in line, buddy. And then we're gonna take our vanilla wafers Just place them on top of the banana. Trying to go quickly here. And I like to do a pretty healthy layer of vanilla or vanilla wafers. Like even on some spots that don't have the banana, I put them so that we can. Um, ooh, girl, little chub is showing. Um, so we can have a nice healthy layer and on the ones that are not I put them face down that don't don't have a banana so I just kind of fill in the holes there I hope you can see what I'm doing I'm going to take a picture and show you what it should look like the first layer and then we're going to start layering the pudding Well, actually, I don't even need to take a picture. And you're gonna do two layers of this cream that you created. So we're gonna do our first layer and I just do like a drizzle because I'm gonna smooth it out. We're gonna do about half of the bowl. Clean that off there. Put that back to the side. Now, this is the only part that's a little tricky to kind of spread it without moving the cookies too much. I mean, it's not it's not that difficult, but it's, you know, a little hard to not move them, them and the bananas too much. And of course, I don't wanna to be touching the food too much. So this is a little bit of the only part that you'll have a little bit of a process on. I'm gonna get a nice even layer. And then you're gonna repeat the process. So we're gonna do, banana and it doesn't have to look perfect like the cookies don't have to be perfectly covered here because it's all going to blend together anyway so this is your really healthy layer of banana that you're going to do here because i want my banana like in the bottom yeah but they kind of turn brown quicker at the bottom so i put more banana in the middle layer because that layer Let's face it, the middle layer is the best layer. That layer has got all 
that vanilla yummy goodness in it. So you're just gonna layer all the rest of your bananas. Perfect. Now we're gonna do our last layer of vanilla wafers. Hopefully this video doesn't get taken down because I have my 80s music on. Oh no, it's like super silent. We'll see, right? All right. Ooh, that cookie fell right on top of that banana. That's where you were supposed to be. That's where you were meant to be, girlfriend. So Luke likes vanilla wafers, so I'm gonna leave some vanilla wafers for him, but I'm gonna try to use the majority of these. And then of course you don't wanna use them all because you wanna make a pretty little topping. So, all done with that layer. And now we're gonna just use the rest of our cream. Make sure you evenly spread it because I didn't do such a good job of that the first time. But remember that this layer can be a little thinner because you are going to put your Cool Whip on top, which is why I said that you wanna reserve more Cool Whip for the top because that is where we're really going to spread that sucker on. So we're just going to grab some from over here, spread it over here. Okay, so then you're gonna take your Cool Whip and your Cool Whip, if you let it um, sit at room temperature for just like while you're making this, it should be good to go so that we can start spreading it. Um, some people wait and spread it once this, they're ready to serve it, but I like to do it ahead of time so all those flavors kind of meld together. So let me get that out of the way, show you what I'm doing. I'm just gonna put, I actually may use the whole thing. I like it to be super, So I'm gonna just finish spreading all of that Cool Whip on and then I'll show you how I do the topping and then we're gonna put her in the fridge and we're gonna eat it tomorrow. I would only make this up to a day in advance because your bananas are gonna start getting a little brown. So today, if you're gonna serve it for 4th of July, would be perfect. If you're making it for Thanksgiving, whatever the case is, day before. Okay, so then what I do is I usually just Take like three cookies and do that, like a little cute design there. And then there's in a little bowl. You can put a little bit of vanilla wafer in a bowl and just kind of mash them up and do it on the counter to make a freaking mess. And you just want a soft mash, like nothing crazy. Like you don't want to. You could probably do it in a food processor. Um, I'm just doing it quickly, old school way. I mean, you could do it with your hands if you're just serving your family, but I'm gonna do it the ladylike way. All right, so then I just take it, and you could do this ahead of time. It's not gonna hurt it at all. If you just make it pretty and you just put that crumble on top. Well, I think it looks pretty. It just adds like a little dimension to her. Makes her a little more presentable. My family is gonna love this. So we are going to eat this tomorrow. Look how beautiful she came out. She actually looks pretty good. So then I just cover with either saran wrap or foil and then you go ahead and put it in your fridge. Like I said, you can do it overnight or you can do it um, the morning of. I would only do it a day in advance because if you do it any more than that, your bananas are gonna go bad and they're gonna be all brown and gross and it'll get watery at the bottom. So here it is, my easy banana pudding. If you make it, tag me and um, post it to your story or post it to your Facebook and let me know that you made it and let me know how your family liked it. I'd really like to know. And stay tuned. I'm